Hi there, it's Marita with Harmonic Wholeness, author of Living with Grace, a story of love and healing, leaving paw prints on the heart. And the last time that we met, I read you the chapter on the tapestry. And I'm, so therefore I'm not gonna read it again because you can go back and listen to that. Um, but I wanted to take it a step further and make it relevant, make some of the questioning relevant or the, from the concept of the tapestry, I want to go into the relevancy of, uh, of COVID-19. So if you recall, the, the concept of the tapestry is about weaving threads of stories into our life, good ones, bad ones, bright ones, dark ones. And um, there is, I think, way at the top of the list of what's happening with stay, stay at home orders, quarantine, um, uh, whatever your area happens to be calling it. Uh, I am in Minnesota and we have stay home Minnesota. Um, but the stay, stay in place, shelter in place, uh, some places call it that, what, whatever you are calling it, um, there, it can be looked at as all dark colored threads. Why? Because Maybe you're in a in an area where you can't even leave your house. Um, going to the grocery store has become extremely stressful, hasn't it? Uh, I timed it. Well, I didn't time it on purpose. <laughs> but the last time, well, not the last time, but one of the times I went to the grocery store, from leaving the store to doing the shopping to coming home, separating what can stay in the garage what can come in the house, washing, you know, disinfecting all of that, putting it away. I was exhausted and I looked at the clock and it was two hours. Grocery shopping had become a two hour ordeal. That's kind of a dark colored thread. Um, but I wanna show you how something can be a gift. So I'll just take that same analogy. Okay, I went to the grocery store and it, from beginning to end, it was two hours. But what is the gift in that? And I haven't rehearsed this in my head at all. So this is like, really, this is it. Um, so I am someone who, uh, as a foodie, I love fresh food. I don't need all that processed stuff. I don't need all that stuff in the freezer. I want fresh food. And when I'm low on it, I want to be able to go to the store to get it. That's my dark colored thread. So, but an upside, if I, if I want to look for a bright colored thread, I've learned appreciation and gratitude for so many things. There's food that I actually can go buy. There's people in the stores risking their lives, so to speak, right? They're risking their health by working so that I can go shopping and come home with all this stuff that needs to be taken care of. And related to that, I want to tell you a story. When I was a teenager, I, does, I don't want to go into the connection of how I ended up there, but I was in Poland. At the time, it was communist, um, and I was visiting a family related to my uncle, not by, he was my uncle by marriage. So he had family in Poland and they had a son who was like a year or two older than I. Anyway, I ended up in Poland for a week and Nina, the mother wanted me to go grocery shopping with her and sure, why not? We didn't, we didn't speak the same language. <laughs> that was interesting. So anyway, I went grocery shopping with Nina who didn't speak German. I didn't speak Polish and or, you know, no English, whatever. We just did not communicate. And we went to four different lines, four different stores. Each one had a line. And we came home with four things. I've been in those bakeries where the shelves are empty. I've been, I don't even know where we were. We were in what, um, she was all excited because they had tomatoes, but they weren't even ripe. They were green. And she was so excited and she bought as much as she could. And I just remember her putting them on the windowsill. And for someone, you know, back then, 
well, we still have a lot of abundance, but for a kid to be in that environment where we can go to any store, there was more store at our corner gas station than they had in those four stores. So that's part of my filter, right? I have that filter. I've seen what other people have gone through and what they've lived through. And now I can go to the grocery store and there's still all of this fresh produce that I get to buy. There's still, there may not be toilet paper, but there's still other food that I might be able to buy. So that's, that is one very relevant upside. Yes, I think that having to deal with all we have to deal with to buy groceries, that's, the, that's a dark color. But we have food that we get to buy, that's a bright colored thread because then you can bring it home and create a meal for yourself and your family. And you actually can enjoy that food that meal. Another upside that it's, it's all in the, in your perception, in the filter that you choose to look at it with the stay at home order. I'm, I just honestly believe that the stay at home go is the message of go within stay home, go within. It's, it's not just keeping your body in the house or keeping your body in place. It's take the time to be reflective. Take the time to look at choices that you've made in the past and do they serve you? If they don't, now's the time to make other choices, to practice. Well, you know, I don't, I don't think that this is a really good thing for me to do. Maybe I should, maybe I'll try this. Like in the last video where I challenged you to look at um, someone, uh, like a, a memory of someone, not a memory of someone, a memory of an experience of some, where, where a bright colored thread was brought to you or the dark, that kind of introspection, that kind of a process, that's the going within. This is a time where you can reinvent yourself. Have you ever wanted to reinvent yourself? I remember as a high school student being so excited about graduating from high school because it meant that when I went off to college, I was going into that experience with a clean slate. No one knew my history. No one knew if I was popular or not. I got to redefine who I was when I went off to college. Well, what if this time right now is a time for you to be incubating the new version of you? That's what I want you to be thinking about during this time. What if you took this time and did other practices instead of binge watching something on Amazon Prime or Netflix or whatever, what if you listen to um, an audiobook that you've been wanting to listen to? What if you attended that online yoga class that you've been thinking about but yoga, but you know, that's kind of weird, or I can't do that, or I don't have a limber body enough to do that, whatever. Whatever the excuses are, now like nobody's watching. You're in your own living room doing the yoga or the qigong or whatever it is, right? doing your jumping jacks. I don't know. The point is you get to redefine who you are if you leverage this experience as a gift. I'm not saying it's easy. The word that's been coming up for me almost every day is the word practice. It's a yoga practice. It's a meditation practice. What if you took that notion into anything that you do, anything. Like I practice cooking. I was talking to somebody, she made something. She baked a cake and it didn't come out very well. And it's like, you gotta be in the mood to risk it, risk it failing. 
because if you're not and then it fails, you you know, but you never know until you try. It might be the best thing ever. It might be the best thing ever. You won't know unless you try. So that's the message from the tapestry specifically related to COVID uh, where the universal message is stay home and go within. And I'd like to extend an invitation if, if you would like to have a dialogue with me to just kind of bat back and forth some notions like is, is some guidance necessary? Is there a relationship that we can form where I can support you in taking that word practice and actually doing something, practicing something? If that's something that is of interest to you, I invite you to uh, reach out, click the link below, see if there's a time in my scheduler that, that meets with your time and let's have dialogue. For all you know, I can be a catalyst for you achieving a higher state of being during this time. Wouldn't that be a gift that we could give each other? I would love that. So for today, that's it. I wish you a day of grace. Bye-bye.